But first, I want to introduce you to Patty Quimby, who's the executive director of Talbot Humane in Easton. Patty, thanks for talking to us this afternoon. Thanks for having me. Now, I want to talk about the fences. I absolutely want to talk about the fences. First off, can, can we talk about, we want to keep our pets safe, but there are some lesser known dangers that we need to watch out for. For instance, with this heat, maybe it's not a good idea to take them for a walk in the afternoon? Yes, uh, we really encourage people to go early in the morning, later in the evening, if you want to take your dogs for walks on pavement. Um, there's a really simple test. Put the back of your hand on top of the pavement and see if five seconds, if it's too hot for your hand. If it's too hot for your hand, it's too hot for your pet. Uh, pets can get uh, first, second, and third degree burns from pavement, asphalt during these extremely hot times, as well as, you know, they can get overheated very quickly. What should we look for to know they're too hot? They'll pant heavily. They often will just plop down, collapse. Um, the worst signs are uh, they're unresponsive, they're foaming at the mouth, they have seizures. If you think oh that your dog is overheated, um, there are a few things that we can do for them um, bef while you're waiting to get to the veterinarian. Um, those include cold towels on them. Don't give them too much water. They will probably uh, vomit that up. Uh, cold towels around their necks, on their paws, um, on their head. And always call your vet. If you think your animal's in distress, call your vet. Be, be on the safe side. Play it safe. Can, can my dog yeah. get sunburned? Uh, your dog can get sunburned. Noses and ears, uh, they're not covered with fur, can get sunburned. And there are animals uh, that have, we call them bronchophallic, they have the smush bases, be it dogs or cats. Um, I have bulldogs, right. so I know all about this. Um, they have a really hard time breathing in this extremely humid and hot weather. Elderly animals need to, you need to really pay attention to. Um, and you know, our puppies, we think, oh, they're great. They want to run around. Uh, you know, they can quickly become dehydrated and overheated as well. So uh, we want yeah. everybody to have a safe and happy summer. So paying attention to our animals and their signs of distress is really important for all of us. So tell me about these picket fences. Oh, it is a great fundraiser. Oxford here in Talbot County, the beautiful little town, uh, has done the picket fence auction for 10 years. This year they did it differently. We were very excited about how we were going to do this. But of course, COVID came and changed it up. But we're still doing it. So Talbot Humane, our fence was painted by wonderful name man named Mark Montoya. He's out of St. Michael's. He's an animal lover and a great artist. And our fence is actually sitting down by the Oxford Bellevue Ferry. But the fences are up all over Oxford. You can go right yeah. to the Oxford Town website and see the um, pictures and you can bid on them and have a piece of art in your yard. Who, who gets the benefit from it? Talbot Humane, and there's 10 other organizations who are going local Talbot County uh, nonprofits who are benefiting from our um, from the picket fences. Each organization, uh, we found our own artist, and they did wonderful work for each of us. Oh, that's incredible. You got to go see these. Patty Quimby, Executive Director of Talbot Humane in Easton, thank you so much for your time with us this afternoon, and good luck with everything. Thank you, Jimmy.